accident. What happened, Devin? Keith and Carol, in this particular case, Utah Highway Patrol say drugs, alcohol, and speed were not factors. This particular fatal accident just goes to show you how important it is for us to be cautious and aware when driving on the roads. Just before 4.30, traffic going eastbound on 189 was backed up for miles. As drivers made their way through Provo Canyon, they inched their way past this disturbing accident. A dented Chevrolet Blazer, a smashed motorcycle on its side, and a shoe and helmet in the middle of the lane. Utah Highway Patrol says the white Chevy had pulled off to the right side of the road. The vehicle's intent was to do a U-turn to go back down Provo Canyon. The driver of that vehicle began to pull out and did not see a motorcycle traveling eastbound in that same direction. On the motorcycle was 42-year-old Brett Blanco of Lehigh and his 12-year-old son. Following them from behind were family members also on motorcycles. They all witnessed what happened next. The motorcycle ran into the rear bumper of the Blazer and both the occupants were thrown off of the motorcycle. Blanco died. UHP says he wasn't wearing a helmet, but his son was. The 12-year-old was taken by ambulance to Utah Regional Medical Center for non-life-threatening injuries. This is the sixth fatal accident this holiday weekend. On Friday, two were killed in St. George and one in Ogden. No fatalities Saturday. And Sunday, one in Eagle Mountain, one in Cottonwood Heights, and now one in Provo Canyon. UHP says this time last year, there were zero deaths on the road. They say it's an unfortunate reminder. Wear your helmets, wear your seat belts, slow down just a little bit. And UHP does predict that tomorrow will have a higher volume of traffic with people coming home from celebrating Memorial Day, which is just another reminder to all of us to not only be aware of our own driving, but also other drivers on the road.